Right now, though, it is time to bring in Pat Pagano. It's time to check the forecast. Good morning there, Pat. And good morning. You are very, very bright and early. I couldn't answer you um, on the last, on your first ring because I was on the air a lot. Well, you know, I figured that here's what happened, Mike, uh, because sports is, so, there's so little sports. Mike only does sports on Monday, Thursday, and Friday, okay? So I did the sports and uh, and looking up, I didn't even look up at the clock. And it, and I, I, I clicked the uh, the call button to you and I looked up and it was 642 and I went, oops. I said, well, I'll just let this ring out in case he picks up. And then, so I, I was early. I was early. Yeah, you were. I, and uh, I wasn't able to get to you. So, I'm sorry, um, I'm sorry about that. Down. That's I quite all right. I apologize for that. But I, we have to start off with a question that I have for you. Well, actually, it's a, okay. it's a, it, it's a demand uh, from Jill, okay? Not, not, okay. not, not the Jill here. Uh, okay. uh, Jill, our listener. Good morning, Marshall. Please ask Pat to give us a sunny Thanksgiving day so we can eat outdoors. Yeah. Now we already that know would, that's that's gone. <laughs> that would really be nice, but that's that's definitely not happening. Yeah, sorry, Jill. <laughs> I mean, we'll have the mild temperatures, but we won't have the uh, dry weather to go along with it. Otherwise, that would have made things, I think, a lot more comfortable for lots and lots of families. Well, I went out and got yeah, my I got putting yours surely. Yeah, I went out and got my turkey yesterday. Went to Le Bon's okay. and and uh, they they had. Marshall, we have two choices for you, a 23-pound turkey or, or an 11-pound turkey. So you uh, took the 11. So I said to them, well, I think 23 pounds is a little too much for two people. <laughs> I don't have enough freezer bags for that. So I took the 11-pound turkey. But the, the great thing about Laban's turkeys is uh, that, yeah, they sell the, fro the frozen ones, uh, but they also sell fresh-killed turkeys and then their own turkeys that are all fresh. And there's just a big difference. Now, this is not uh, this is not a range, free range, you know, t turkey or anything like that. But uh, but their turkeys are great. The people that I used to get um, the uh, free range turkeys, uh, which are which were terrific, uh, haven't done turkeys the past couple of years. But the difference, Pat, is that uh, a really good free range turkey that's 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 unbelievable. Uh, is are they're around ten bucks a pound? Uh, the turkey I got yesterday <laughs> was two dollars and fifty cents a pound. So, <laughs> little wow. difference. Little difference. <laughs> Pocketed some change on that one. But yeah, anyways, really. But anyways, enough about that. So uh, actually, you know, it feels pretty warm this morning, even though it's only thirty-five. I don't know why, but it just feels warmer this morning. Well, there are some cloudy clouds around, and of course, there's not as much wind. Uh, that helps. I mean. Uh, the wind yesterday was gusty. Uh, my uh, my weather, my new weather oh, station yeah. here uh, clocked the wind at 41. There were winds clocked to 60 on Cape Cod yesterday. In fact, uh, a funnel cloud was sighted um, over Martha's Vineyard, uh, but there were no tornadoes that touched down um, on Cape Cod. So that was kind of interesting. Now, can that you, was with that front. Can you explain something uh, for people out there? And yeah. maybe me. You see pictures uh, uh, of uh, of water spouts all the time uh, along the shore, and uh, people just stay there. Isn't a water spout uh, only a water spout until it gets to land, and then it's a tornado? Yes, but <laughs> generally, generally water spouts um, once they get onto land, uh, they they uh, they weaken and they fall apart. Okay. Uh, so most of the time. Uh, they can be, they're very, very dangerous to, uh, to mariners, obviously. And sometimes if they come close enough to the shoreline, um, that's where the expression comes. It's, uh, it could be raining fish and stuff like that um, because it could actually take the fish and it could even take uh, small animals nearby, bring it up to the funnel, and then uh, throw them out to the top of the funnel. And they'll be coming out of the sky. Frogs could come out of the sky and things like that. Sharknado, Sharknado. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, so they are dangerous, but again, most of the time they stay. If you see it offshore, they usually stay offshore. All right. So that's the name of that. So today will be a sunny, brisk day in the mid 40s, partly cloudy tonight, low to mid 20s. Sun with increasing clouds, 45 to 50 for Wednesday. Rain will come in after midnight on Wednesday. Thanksgiving Day, periods of rain 
maybe beginning to taper off to drizzle in the afternoon. But still, a, a very clammy day. Highs near 60, however. And then cloudy with a couple of showers left over on Friday, mid-50s. We may have a couple of showers Saturday and then sunny but cool weather on Sunday. So there is your complete Thanksgiving weekend. And as we often uh, like to pat ourselves on the back when, um, when we're right, as you know, um, this, one's gonna, this one's not going to do it. Last week of November, long-range forecast, windy snow showers then turning fairer and milder for Thanksgiving weekend. Well, we have the milder, uh, but we don't have the fair. Um, and I said in the summary that um, Thanksgiving should um, should be fine. I, I said no problem free. So we, I think we basically blew that one. I wonder how how uh, good old um, Christmas is going to turn out uh, because Christmas we also had slated as being fair. So that one was not good, Marshall. Well, you know, it's a long range. You know, sometimes you get the bear and sometimes the bear gets you. You know, what can yeah. you do? Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. That is uh, that is very true. So other than that, um, I would have to say I'm looking outside now. I see uh, partly cloudy skies. I see a lot of um, uh, fair weather cumulus clouds flying by as we speak. Um, hopefully a lot will dis- dissipate and we'll get more in the way of sun. As we go through the day today. And that's it. Tropics are quiet. And um, and today should be a quiet day too for me. I don't have much to do uh, on the agenda today. So I just keep moving along and watching the weather. Well, uh, yesterday, uh, Godzilla arrived at my house. This is the Godzilla game? Yep. (laughs) Godzilla Monopoly. Godzilla Monopoly arrived at the house. Okay. And it's already right. it's already hanging on the wall. It's already hanging on the wall. It's going to be it's sealed. It will not. It will never be unsealed. Never. Oh, you're kidding! You mean you mean uh, you didn't even open it up? No, 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 no. I'm saying you know, this is this is this is for the hit. This goes on display with all my other Godzilla stuff. Goes on display with that. Well, you know, I don't really care about the weather on Thanksgiving because uh, you know I I come into work then I go right home. Um, but you know what you know what Thanksgiving is to me. A football game at twelve thirty, a football game at four o'clock, and a football game at eight o'clock. And they're all good football games this Thanksgiving. They're all good good football games. So oh, that's good for you. Uh, and uh, and uh, you know I'll split the turkey and give Jill uh, half the turkey. I'll keep half the turkey. I make uh, in the bird stuffing, out of the bird stuffing. So uh, I, 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 for some reason, I really do enjoy making a turkey. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's good. I mean, it is not my favorite food. No, but when I'll you eat, don't I'll you, eat it, you know, but it's not my favorite. But don't you think when you walk into a, there's two smells when you walk into a house to me that are just great. One is something whenever you're roasting anything with garlic or anything like that. I just love that smell. And the other smell I like is the smell that comes from, you know, cooking a turkey for three and a half, four or five hours. I just think it's, I just love that smell. I just love that smell. I don't know. Maybe it's a, it's a weird fetish, but it, it, I love it. So you don't even like to smell a turkey then? I, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. Uh, it's just like, you know, if I had a choice and someone said to me, um, would, what would you rather have for Thanksgiving? Would you rather have turkey or would you rather have lasagna? Hands down, lasagna. It's funny. Arthur Schwartz yesterday, uh, the food maven, said that years ago somebody wrote like, that people should have spaghetti carbonara on Thanksgiving. See? <laughs> spaghetti, spaghetti carbonara. Uh, I like pasta. I like pasta. But you know what? I, I was even toying with the idea of getting a standing rib roast uh, this year. But... I've been on this pandemic diet. I've lost uh, like 57 pounds, and I've got another 43, 44 to go. So um, the standing rib roast is out. Because you know what my favorite part of the standing rib roast is? No. Oh, when you, when you, when you cook it medium rare, 
the, crisp, um, the crispy fat on the outside. Mm. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's, oh. that's a no-no for me. I, it, well, it, it's what's well, a no-no for me now, too. But there is there's nothing better. <laughs> I'll leave the meat for somebody else to eat. I just love when it's prepared like that. And also, what's that uh, popover type thing that uh, that they serve? Uh, I forget what it's called now. Um, but it's a popover, and it's not really called a popover. I forget. I forget what it's called. But I like those too. But I can't make those. I don't know how to make those. So uh, so now now are you you're not working Thursday morning, right? Uh, no, um, no, I'm not working Thursday morning. Um, you'll have. Um, You'll have my forecast. Yeah, but, but, but a, yeah. But, that's what they did. And then Friday, AJ's on. AJ, AJ on a Friday. Yeah. What? AJ's on on Friday. Uh, well, uh, because it's, uh, unfortunately, I'll be uh, on my way back from Long Island Thursday night. And um, I am hoping that I am not going to hit tons of traffic. Um, I'm, I'm sincerely hoping that. A lot of people will be staying home, like I wish I was, but unfortunately I'm not. Um, so I'm hoping a lot of people will be home and the traffic won't be too bad. But I can guarantee that um, I won't be home before uh, before nine. And you deserve the day off anyway. I I, I told you yesterday I am just feeling beat. Yeah. Um, I I cannot catch up. No matter, even if I try to take a nap. I feel fine once I come out of the nap, and then a couple of hours later, it's like I just want to close my eyes and go right back to sleep. Oh. If I could only sleep, Marshall, <laughs> say three to four hours continually without having to get up, uh, I would be uh, the better off for it. But I can. Well, you know, I, it, the same thing happens with me. I, if I, you know, I go to bed somewhere around seven thirty, eight o'clock. Uh, I mean, I'm in the bedroom by about seven. But I don't really go to bed until seven, till seven thirty, eight o'clock, and like clockwork, midnight, I'm up. See, tromp off to the bathroom. Right. <laughs> Say hello to Genghis the cat who lives in the bathroom. Do my thing, thing, then you know, then about quarter after twelve, I can get back to sleep. But but at it's it's right. It's four hours. Four hours is it. And that's it. And see, I don't even get that. Um, it's much less for me. So, um, you know, I do sleep, I have to admit, I do sleep a lot better up at the cabin. But the reason for that is that, one, I don't have TV, because I sleep with the TV on. Uh, I don't have TV, and I don't have any lights on. So, and I also think, uh, subconsciously, I know that there's no phones, there's no weather center, uh, there's no, no distractions like that. So I'm sort of forced into a better sleep up there. But uh, here, it just doesn't happen. Well, I got to, I've got all my, my, my Christmas decorations ready to go. I decorate my house in 12 minutes. <laughs> That's incredible. I set up my Christmas tree. It's already got the lights pre-strung on it. Boom. That takes about eight of the 12 minutes. Then I put up a, a hanging light in the, my main picture window. That takes about two minutes. And then I hang up uh, ribbons on all my hanging baskets, which are four. That takes about another minute. And uh, that's it, folks. There she goes, all done. <laughs> well, that's pretty good because then obviously that's all it takes you to... Um... To put them away as well. That's exactly right, and uh, and uh, that goes along with my gift cards, you know. <laughs> I, I don't, yeah, that's I don't, nice I don't, easy too. I don't, fr I don't fret and go crazy like everybody. Nice, well, easy, compact things are done, and that's this it. year. Uh, this year, there's no traping off to cut down yeah. my real tree because I bought a an artificial one yeah. uh, last year at the end of the season. Smart move. Smart move. Uh, that's it. I'm done with that after what I went through last year. So <laughs> that's right. That's a. I, it's a very nice thing to do, but you know what? At our age, <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, pu I'm pulling it through a, yeah, a foot so. of snow. No, 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 <laughs> no. It's not worth it. It really no. isn't. Well, I want you to have a good day today, Pat, and uh, we'll check with you tomorrow. You do the same, Bob Marshall. All right, take care.
Patrick Allen this morning here at the Weather Center with a check on our tri-state forecast and lots of other silly stuff uh, that we talk about.